Columbia Studio, you've finally done it. Thank you so much for stepping up and bringing us update 26.1. What is update 26.1, you say? Oh, let me tell you, it gives you the ability to listen to music in your stream, separate that music from your Twitch VOD, and boom, shakalaka, no more DMCA strikes. Let me show you exactly how to do that in this video. Okay, so in order for us to demonstrate this, let's go ahead and open up OBS Studio. And you will see I have two uh, audio tracks on my mixer. I have my music track as well as my stream mix, which includes my microphone, my game audio, and um, anything else that comes through my computer. So what I have done is I have my music track. If I take a look at my advanced audio properties, since I've separated these two tracks, I've got my music track here. It is going to track one, and then my stream mix is going to track one and track two. So for my stream, they hear everything from track one. So they're going to hear the music as well as my broadcast mix. And for the video on demand, which Twitch has, it only is going to take track two. So just my stream mix. So if we take a look in here in our settings, in order to change that, it's really simple. Just go over here to your output. And then your output mode is either going to be in simple or advanced mode. You want to make sure it's in advanced. And you'll see here we've got our audio tracks, one and two, right? And then we also have our Twitch VOD track. That is going to, if you click this box here, and I'm going to select track two. So remember, that's my broadcast mix is only going to track two and not necessarily my music. So that is great. So we're going to hit apply and hit OK. And now you will see once I turn on my music, I still have it going to the stream. However, when you go back and record my VOD, you won't be able to hear. So thank you very much for listening to this. If you have any questions along the way in this process, feel free to drop them in the comments below. If this video was able to help you out, please hit the like button. And then if you really like it in the future, if you want to uh, be notified of any future videos that I do, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and turn your notifications on. Thank you very much.